Hello and welcome back. The topic for this lesson is solving quadratic equations by factoring. And so in this video, we will look at some of the basic techniques used in factoring quadratic expressions and see how we can use them to aid us in solving quadratic equations. First up though, we need to answer the question, what is a quadratic equation? Now, a quadratic equation is an equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Notice that this highest power in the equation is two, um, which is a square, where a, b, and c are real numbers, that is numbers that you know and use, and a is not equal to zero. A quadratic equation has two solutions at most, those solutions are called roots or zeros. And so um, those roots can be different. They can be the same number repeated, or it can be a complicated or complex root, I should say. Now, let's look at this. What can we say about A and B if the product AB is equal to zero? We need to answer this before we get into the factoring and solving. So if AB is equal to zero, what can we say about two numbers, A and B, that multiply to give you zero? If a times b is equal to zero, then one of two things can happen. Either one, either one we say both numbers are zero. So zero times zero is equal to zero. So both numbers are zero. That's quite possible. So zero times zero is zero. And in the second instance, we can say, well, maybe zero times b is equal to zero, in which case a is zero or a times zero is equal to zero, in which case b is zero. So the second case is one of them. One of them is zero. So either a or b is zero. And this is very important when it comes to solving quadratic equations by factoring because what we're going to end up with is a situation with two brackets or a bracket and something else which says that that product is equal to zero. And the only way we can make sense of it is to say, well, if a bracket times something gives me zero, then, well, let's look into it and see. Here we have a question, ax squared plus bx plus c, and we want to solve this. So solving, we want to factor it out first ax squared plus bx equal zero. Now, notice that x is a common factor, so we can write that down, open a bracket, and we're going to factor out our x from this. Notice ax squared is the same thing as axx, and we're dividing that by x, and it gives us in the bracket ax plus bx there, dividing it by x gives us a b. So now, look at it. It says x now multiplied by the bracket gives us zero. Now, if x multiplied by the bracket gives us zero, either one, either x is zero, in which case we get an answer right there, or the bracket ax plus b equals zero, in which case we're going to solve this linear equation. ax is equal to zero minus b. Ax is equal to negative b, and therefore x is equal to negative b divided by a. And in here, we get our second answer, which is the two answers we need for our quadratic equation. Let's look at another one. Here we have 3x squared plus 7x equals 0. And so to solve it, we need to factor out the x here. So let's factor out our x. Factoring out our x from 3x squared gives us 3xx divided by x. That gives us 3x plus 7x divided by x gives us 7. And now we can say either one, either x is 0 from here, x is equal to 0, in which case we have an answer like we did before, or 3x plus 7 is equal to 0, in which case we have a linear equation here, and we need to solve it. Um, negative 7, then we divide by 3. x is equal to negative 7 over 3, and we have our second solution. 
So th that is the idea behind um, using this type of example. There are other types of examples. This one is similar, but as it is written, it doesn't look like it. So first we need to remove this 5y to the other side. So we have and end up with 2y squared minus 5y. And then we apply the method to it, which is to factor out y here. And we get 2y minus 5. And so our solutions would be y equals 0. And 2y minus 5 equals 0, which case we have 2y is equal to 5. And y is equal to 5 over 2. So we have an answer there. And we have an answer here. Now, that's one case in which you need to factorize. Here's another one in which you need to factorize. I should say, some quadratic equations can be solved by factoring. It probably is the case that most can't be. And it, this is just one technique. There are other techniques that can be used to solve quadratic equations, such as using the formula or using completing, completing the square. And we will look at that, um, those in other lessons. Now, let's look at this one. 3x squared minus 7x plus 2. When we're doing this one, we need to use the AC method to factor it. And remember the AC method. This is A, B, C. So this is your A. This is your B. This is your C. And what we do is that we multiply A times C. So A times C here would be 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. And now we need to find the other factor pairs of 6, which are 6 times 1. Now, one of these factor pairs would will add to give the middle term B. And so you look at these two numbers, they cannot possibly give us 7 in any way at all, but these two can give us 7 if we say, um, negative 7 rather, if we say negative 6 and negative 1. Now negative 6 times negative 1 give us a positive 6, and negative 6 plus negative 1, as you see, gives you a negative 7 there. So we can rewrite this by saying, let me just get rid of this here by saying um, 3x squared, yes, minus x, minus 1x, minus 6x, plus 2, equals 0. Now let's factor this out. We can group these two together and these two together. So we have x into this part using the same technique, 3x minus 1. And using a minus 2 for here, we end up with 3x minus 1. And so putting our outside factors together, we end up with x minus 2 times 3x minus 1 equals 0. Now, here we have the thing. So we, if we have this bracket multiplied by this bracket gives us 0, then either, let me just change the ink here, either, Either x minus 2 is 0, so in which case we have an equation there and we solve it as 0 plus 2, so x is 2, or we have 3x minus 1 equals 0, in which case we have another linear equation, and therefore 3x is equal to 1, and then x is equal to 1 over 3. So our two solutions would be x is equal to 2, and x is equal to one third. Let's try that on another question. So here we have 2x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Using the same AC method, this is A, this is B, this is C. Now B is not the x, remember, B is the coefficient. So B there is 1. So we'd say 2 times negative 6, which gives us a negative 12. Now let's write down the other factor pairs of 12. Factor pairs of 12 are 4 times 3, and we already have 2 times 6, um, so 12 times 1. All of these can give us 12. Of course, we need a negative 12. So which of these, when we multiply them, can give us, um, we can have negative 4 times positive 3, or negative 3 times positive 4, etc., etc. Those combinations can give us negative 12. But let's look at the combination that can give us the middle term. Which of these, if you put them together, can give you the middle term of negative 1? Um, certainly 2 and negative 6 won't work. But this one can give us a negative 1 if we write it as 3 take away 4. So 3 times negative 4 would give us negative 12. And 3 plus negative 4 would give us a negative 1. 
So this is the correct pair to use. And when you're doing this thing, it's important to you that you choose the correct factor pair. Otherwise, you're going to end up with um, er errors in your answer. So let's rewrite the equation now as 2x squared using the factor pairs um, plus 3x minus 4x minus 6 equals 0. And so let's solve it. Putting these two together, putting these two together. Here, the only factor we have is x, so we factor it out. And when, once we factor it out, we get 2x plus 3. Here, we can use a negative 2. And negative 2 into negative 4x here gives us a 2x. And negative 2 into negative 6 gives us a plus 3. Almost done. Combine our outside factors. So we have x minus 2. And right back bracket, 2x plus 3. And using the situation we had before, where if this bracket times that bracket is 0, then either x minus 2 is 0, in which case we get x is equal to 0 plus 2, so x is equal to 2. Or we have the other situation where 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, where 2x is equal to 0 minus 3, so 2x gives us negative 3. And x is therefore equal to negative 3 divided by 2. So we have our two solutions. And the two solutions are x is equal to 2 and x is equal to negative 3 over 2. And so these would be the two solutions that we get from applying factorization to this quadratic equation. Remember, not all of them can be factorized. Some can. And if a question gives you, if, if an examination or whatever it is, gives you a question and say factorize it, then most likely it can be factorized. And so if that's the case, then you need to apply this method to it and do not apply another method because the examiner would then want to know if you can use the method. So that's what the examining would be about. Now that you know how to apply it, you need to go get some more practice to make sure you tie down this skill. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, then please do before you go. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support.